team today we got ourselves a big old seven pound chicken that we spatchcocked and we're getting it on that wood fire today stick around What's up everybody, welcome to Cooking with CJ. I'm CJ, welcome to my backyard. So glad you're here. Guys, we got a good one for you today. We got a full on big old chicken and we're gonna go ahead and smoke it on our uh, wood fire right here. We're gonna give it that good wood fire flavor, baby, right? And then we're gonna do something that, you know, my buddies in competition barbecue do. We're gonna go ahead and sear it off and give it those jailbird marks, okay? So this is spatchcock jailbird. All right, stick around, you won't wanna miss this one. Let's go ahead and get into it. What we did already last night is we spatchcocked the bird, meaning we took out the backbone, gave a little slice on that breastbone from the inside, and then we gave it CPR and broke them ribs. All right, so we flattened out the bird. It really doesn't take much to it. You're just getting a good pair of kitchen shears. I use a knife initially to, to slice through the back just to give myself some uh, guidelines as I'm slicing up the backbone. And then I take them big old kitchen shears and just have that the backbone. Make sure you take it out, slice up one side and down the other. Keep that for stock if you want, but more often than not, you're probably just gonna toss it. Let's be serious. So then I got it on a wire rack and I did a dry brine. So all we do is take some kosher salt, we season the inside, flip it over, and then we give a liberal coat of salt on the outside. Okay, I use kosher salt. Then we go ahead and throw that into the fridge overnight uncovered now what that does is take out some of that moisture but draws in that salt flavor right and also by doing that it pulls out some of that moisture under that skin and lets it get a little crispy in there so like i said pretty simple to do i've already done a whole chicken in this wood fire before but this is the normal way i smoke my chickens okay i spatchcock it i spatchcock my uh uh, turkeys too. Uh, I think it's just an e more even way to cook the bird. After that chicken had plenty of time in that refrigerator overnight, getting nice and dry brine. When it pulled it out, we sprayed it down with some duck fat because we dried out the skin. There's nothing for that uh, barbecue rub to hold on to. So we uh, sprayed down the skin, sprayed down the back, made it nice and tacky. Then we hit it up with my West Coast shake. That's right guys, that's my own famous Worldwide famous rub, the West Coast Shake. Started with the, the underside, flipped over the bird, and gave her a liberal coat on the outside. Let it sit for a while, we'll get the grill in order. Now, I've put my temp spike thermometer in there. Get yourself one of these temp spike thermometers. I'll have a link down below. It's a discount code. It's actually my own page on Thermapro. Guys, I would be lost without my uh, temp spike, without my lightning. All them uh, Thermapro products, they really help me make sure I get a perfect cook every time. So make sure you check it out, all right? Enough for the infomercial. First thing we gotta do today <laughs> is get our pellets in. I have just a regular comp blend right here. We're going to full, full cups worth in there. Shut that down and we'll go ahead and turn this thing on, get it through that ignition process and then we'll get that bird on, all right? Guys, I hope you stick around to the end. Making good things here, baby. Hit that like and subscribe while you're at it, will you? All right, come on back. Time to get this bad boy on. We're going to smoker setting. 250 is good. Four hours is the default. We'll go ahead and leave it there. We're taking it out at about 160 internal. Okay, that's Fahrenheit. I'll put the Celsius right there, okay? And then we're gonna let the carry over heat take it to 165. We have our temp spike in the thickest part of the breast. Don't worry about those default times on there. Just makes it easier just to leave it, okay? The wood fire uh, technology button's gonna already lit up, but let's go ahead and hit start and take it through that ignition process. Then we'll go ahead and get that bird on. All right, team, smoke's rolling. We've gone through the ignition. Let's get that bird on, what do you say? That smoke is smelling really good. That wood fire flavor is happening today, baby. All right, let's get this bird on. All right, we're gonna put that bad boy on. We got my big old spatula. Let's get it underneath the bird. Just get it set in there. We got the wing tips bent back in there. It's nice and ready. It's looking gorgeous. How you doing? Let's go ahead and shut this down. Give that smoke bath. We'll check on it about a half hour. Make sure the temps are where we're at. We'll come on See, back. We're an hour in. Let's take a look at that beautiful birdie right there. It is tipping out at 117 in the breast right there, but it's looking too nice. 
We're gonna come back when we hit 160 internal, and then we're gonna fire up that grill plate and make it gel so We're up to Tim, we're ready to pull this thing off. We're gonna set it aside. Remember, we're gonna turn that grill on high and turn this bird into a jail bird, all right? So, we got the big spatula here. I'm gonna take it off, put it on the tray, fire it up. Let's go. It's pretty cool, huh? All right, come on there. Oh, guys, as far as timing goes, it's been about two hours. It's a little odd. It, it, I didn't think it would take that long, but it's a pretty healthy sized bird. We want to make sure it's done all the way. So it took about two hours at 250. Usually I'll cook my birds a little bit higher, but I wanted the smoke show on this one. And now we're going to get with those grill marks. See how this goes. All right, come on down. The bird is the word. It is looking too nice. Gorgeous. Right, beautiful color. Let's get those uh, marks on there, huh? In all honesty, I don't know how if this is gonna work out or not, but we're gonna see it. We're gonna make it happen. Put this down, turn it off. Bye. Turn to the grill setting on high 10 minutes. We're just gonna get that quick sear just to get those marks on there. Nothing more, okay? So hit start. Let it go through the preheating and we'll get that bird back on. Now, do you have to do this grill mark thing? No, you don't, all right? This is just me having some fun with it. This bird is done right now. You let it rest, you slice it up, you're good to go. It's just, like I said, me having some fun, trying to get those grill marks on there. Guys, if you happen to do this and make your bird a jail bird, do me a favor, take a picture, put it on your social medias, on uh, Facebook, it's at Cooking with CJ, and uh, Instagram, it's at underscore cooking with CJ. Tag me in it. I want to see what you guys do. Make your birds jail birds. I'm going to give credit on this one to uh, Chicken Fried Barbecue, and I'll, I'll put a link for him down below. Competition Barbecue, you've seen him on Food Network. You've seen him all over the place. Just the man when it comes to Competition Barbecue. Good buddy of mine. All right, I've seen him do this. I want to do it, so we're going to have some fun with it. We're heating up that grill. And we're gonna put this bird on and see what see what we can do with it. All right, come on back. Okay, while we're waiting for the preheat to get done, I took out the Tim Spike. We're done. We obviously know it's done. I'm gonna spray the outside with a little more duck fat so it crisps up a little bit more. So when it hits that grill grate, it'll uh, get a nice little sizzle on there. All right, we're almost ready to get this thing on. It's right, ready to add the food. So let's add the food. I'm wearing protective gloves. Okay. Y'all be careful when you're doing this. <laughs> it's splattering up. <coughs> oh, excuse me. It's splattering up pretty good. Okay. We're just gonna give it about a minute. Just let those sear marks take hold. Obviously tons of juices are coming out. That's why you're getting a lot of that steaming. But this is one juicy bird. All right, let's take a look. Not entirely sure this is exactly what I had in mind, but it looks good enough to me. Let's get this bad boy off. All right, we got our tray, got our big old spatula. Get it off. We'll uh, let it rest a little bit longer and we'll slice into it. Y'all, right, we've had some time to rest. Let me go ahead and slice into this. Got a cutting board here that'll, got a little juice trough that that gorgeous piece of meat right there. Get the other side, you're just cutting through that skin. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Slice into the breastbone right here. And all I do is take my knife and slice it along the rib bones and the breastplate. Okay, there you go. Clearly you can see the juice just dripping, dropping. I wanna squeeze. I know I don't usually like to squeeze my meat, but that is some juicy chicken right there, baby. Let's get in there for a taste test. Our bird is beautifully done, guys. Do you take the time to make it a jail bird? Nah, I don't, I don't think it really made a big difference. Uh, but it was fun to try it. I got me a leg right here. Let's take a bite. Cheers, y'all. Mm. You know you need a, a rag handy for that one. Too damn good. 
<laughs> got a big old mouthful of it right now. <laughs> oh gosh, guys, that chicken is too dang good. Of course I use my West Coast shake on it. If y'all want to get yourself some, hit the link down below at UncleSteveShake.com. That's where we sell the West Coast shake. All right, good stuff though. If y'all want to get yourself this wood fire grill, be an affiliate link to Ninja Kitchen down below. Doesn't cost you anything more to use it, but helps out the channel. I also have a Ninja wood fire cookbook. So there's a link down below for it. It's an e-cookbook, you download it. Plenty of great recipes on there for the wood fire. Check it out. For knives, cutting boards, all the stuff I use in my videos, also links down below if you guys want to become a show producer like all these awesome people scrolling in front of me right now people that love a good jailhouse bird uh, well it works whatever <laughs> hit that join button right next to the subscribe button which you should have already hit by now but other than that guys we're done Listen, i hope you have a wonderful wonderful week thanks for stopping by thanks for cooking with cj take care